I'm Dennis Stone, and I'm standing next to an area we call the Archaeological Simulator. Uh, this is a very hands-on experience for our school groups. Normally it's laid out with strings, and we make it into little squares of one meter by one meter. And these squares are where the students will be doing the excavations. We team them up in two people to a square, and they stay in the square for about 45 minutes. Before that begins, we do a, a pre-dig uh, uh, briefing, and we talk a little bit about what archaeologists do what an archaeologist uses for equipment, and um, the techniques an archaeologist uses, and also what type of artifacts and what an artifact is, what you'll be finding. So we have different tools such as a bucket and trowels. We have brushes and dust pans. We also have sifters, and we have a couple of these, and the team will come out of the dig pit, go to the sifter, they'll shake the dirt that's inside the sifter, it'll fall through, and different types of artifacts will appear, and the students will try to determine again what an artifact is. They might find something like an inscription, and we have found ancient inscriptions here like gear carvings, arrow carvings, among others. We have uh, po different types of pottery representing different time periods from very ancient to modern, and even tile. And tile can go back to the age of the Romans, uh, so it can be old. And then even things like shell and bone, you have to decide whether a shell could be an artifact or whether it's just something natural laying on the ground. Uh, shells could have been used for different things like jewelry, uh, for wampum, like money. Uh, Native Americans did that. Also, they made pyramids out of shells down in the southern part of the uh, United States, out of millions of shells. Or it could be used for like a necklace, something like that. So it would be an artifact. And the same thing with bones. So um, these artifacts tell a lifestyle. And this is something that students will investigate. 